This is the most explosive offense in Madden 23. Break yourself, fool! It has unstoppable glitch routes. What? Got him. Multiple one-play touchdowns for every defense. And plays so explosive you can score from anywhere on the field. So if you want to see what offense I'm using to get results like this, see ya. Stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I am once again going to be using my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook as it is my favorite offense and has been all year since Madden 23 came out. I put out a lot of content from this playbook, so I'll have links in the description for more related content as well as on-screen pops at the end of the video, so stick around for that. But before I get into it, if you want to see more gameplays like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. But if you want to see more money plays right now from this or any of my ebooks and you don't want to wait, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pin comment and you can download them right now to your phone or computer or have them sent to the email of your choice. The offense I'm going to be using again today is my Gunstack Y Flex offense as I have four brand new one-play touchdowns that I'm going to show you from it in today's gameplay. As this offense now has multiple one-play touchdowns for every single type of defense in the game from this very formation. My four audible plays have changed a lot over the year that I have been using with this offense, but right now I find the best setup is use the drive H wheel, the inside zone, the PA read, and either the Salem pivot for man defenders or the fade out for zone defenders. The fifth play that I chose today was the Y sail, which is another play that I recently made a video about, and I'll have a link in the description for that as well as a beach man or zone. As I come to the line of scrimmage, I see my opponent is not surprisingly a man zero blitz, is that something that everybody's running this year? And this play can be a one play touchdown against this defense as well if you put the Y route on a fade. But I accidentally put him on a streak so it doesn't work. So I end up taking the check down instead, which is the tight end on the sail route. Then I switch over to the drive H wheel, which is probably an even easier one play touchdown that works the pretty much the exact same way with the exact same setup. Is all you have to do is streak the X route this time. I also decide to block the tight end, so I motion him in and I block him and the running back. Then I put the B route on a zig for a check down. This play works because the two wide receivers in the stack are so close together that when the corner route breaks to the outside, either him or the man defender following him will usually bump off or get in the way of the defender that is manned to the streaking Y route, which is something that a subscriber actually told me in the comment section. He usually blisses me again though, forcing me to throw it a little bit early, but you can see the separation we get. And even though I am slowed down by the rat catch and tackle before scoring, you can see this play is capable of a one play touchdown. I run a hurry up and make a slant adjustment since my opponent is user blitzing with no one over the middle to get an easy score and we take the lead in just four plays. On the defensive side, my opponent is going to match me most of the game and I still don't know how this wasn't an interception. What? As Mark Andrews flips the field on one play on just a simple streak. On the next play, if you look at the pre-snap play art, it looks like the exact same coverage where the safety will cover the tight end and the linebacker will cover the running back, but for some unknown reason, the coverage switches after the play starts, despite me not making any adjustments at all, and now the linebacker is way out of position, letting Mark Andrews run right past them. What the hell was that? On the next series, I run the ball to get into an easy third and one, but he stuffs me and gets me to a fourth in inches. I decided to go for it from my own 34, which is something I usually don't do, but I got the best offensive line in the game, and I should be able to get a few inches. Only this time, he stuffs me to get a turnover on downs. <laughs> The blitz that I've been using so far in this game is the Dime Normal DB Blitz Zero, which is a blitz that I made a video about just yesterday, and I have a link in the description once again, as this play is going to bail me out of this situation. On the first play, we stuffed the run for a two-yard loss. Then on the second play, the blitzing cornerback comes right up the middle to force an incomplete pass. Then on third down, he hits the running back, but I am there to make a stop, and we hold him to a field goal. Back on offense and back to the inside zone, and this time we rip off an easy 15 yard run. Where was that blocking last drive? On the next play, I read my opponent is in cover three, so I switch to the drive H wheel once again, which is also now a one play touchdown against cover three as well. All you have to do is run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field like I am here, then send everyone on streak routes except the corner route and put the running back on a wheel route or a streak as well. And you can see the receiver gets past the cornerback, but for some reason, 
I get an inaccurate bullet pass pop-up, and the ball is way underthrown, resulting in an interception. I would say it was because of Hertz only having an 86 throw power, but I've never had an issue throwing deep with him, and I have a lot of videos on my channel to support that. So to me, this is all BS just piling up and starting to feel like the fix is in DBA style. Luckily on the next play, we get to the exact same interception on the streak that we should have gotten on the first play of the drive. He is still in cover three, and I am already on a hash mark, so I go right back to the exact same drive H wheel setup that I just threw the interception with, only this time I get a good accuracy bullet pass pop up and the play actually works. Isn't that amazing how something you have no control over can eventually decide the outcome of plays and games? Something is wrong here. Back on defense, my opponent continues to take simple crossing routes for ridiculous catch and runs. Like what kind of tackle attempt was that by the CPU Bradbury? He didn't even slow him down or break his stride or acceleration or nothing. I put up a good fight on the goal line with my 3-4 odd cover for quarters run defense to get him to a third and goal before he get, eventually gets in with a QB sneak to take the lead back. Back on offense, I start the drive with an inside zone before reading that he is in a cover for a drop, which I gotta be honest, you don't really see a lot of online. So I switched to the PA read, which I will show you several new one play touchdown setups for in this video alone. Against a non-matching cover for a regular like this, all you have to do is fade the Y route and put the A route on a curl, then bullet and pass lead once the B route gets inside the strong safety as the free safety gets held down by the curl route. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> And once again, if I get a smoother catch and run animation or a faster receiver here, I probably would have scored. He puts up a pretty good fight on the goal line too, stopping my inside zone once again. I switch over to the QB sneak, but he stuffs that and I'm forced to go for it on fourth and inches. And I am not making the same mistake I made last time. So I see that he's in a man's or a blitz. I give myself a couple of zig route options. And I'm not going to lie, I legitimately thought that Goddard would find a way not to catch this ball just to screw me. Back on defense and back to my secondary getting roasted by simple streak routes from the tight end. Like, what's going on here? I'm not even pressing and he's not even that fast. What the hell is going on? Back on offense, I was going to set up the one play touchdown once again, but he is now dropping everyone back to guard against it. So I changed my mind and take what the defense is giving me underneath. On the next play, he doesn't do that. So now I'm going to set up another cover three one play touchdown from a different play. This time I will use the fade out. This is a play that I already put out in a previous video and I will have a link in the description for that. All you have to do to set this play up is run from a hash mark to the open side of the field once again, put the B route on a comeback route, and even with Marlon Humphrey out there, you can see he bites on the comeback route and lets the wheel route get outside. At this point, all you have to do is bullet and pass lead away. For an easy touchdown that works against cover three and cover four defenses, and even whatever cover two invert that was that he was trying to run here. So I take the lead back, but not for long, as he uses a play that I put out against me, the QB blast from the gun empty quads and takes it all the way to the house on the very next play. I don't know what's going on with my defense. Back on offense, I now read that he is in cover two man, so I'm going to show you another one play touchdown setup from the PA read. Against cover two man, all you really have to do is put the Y route on a fade once again, but I put the A route on a curl because this setup also works against cover four, so it's just easier to remember. But once again, you can see we split the safeties, only we aren't able to outrun everybody once again, and I have to use my final timeout. And now he is coming out and prevent defenses, as he is clearly out of ideas on how to stop this offense. Ha! <laughs> Gay! To be honest with you though, since I have no timeouts, this is kind of smart, and I take it as a compliment whenever somebody resorts to coming out with some type of nonsense defense like this. He stops me once, and then I just hit him with a zig route adjustment on the next play, and if he didn't change defenses, I would have kept doing it. I actually wish he would have though, as he shut me down the next two plays, forcing me to kick a field goal on third down with only three seconds left to tie it up 31 apiece at half. I start the second half out on defense. On the first play, I get a huge stop for a five-yard loss before he goes right back to beating me with streaks. Then he uses another one of my favorite plays out of the Ravens play the buck sweep ebook link in the description and this is obviously one of the best playbooks in the game to use as well and i am now switching over to the spinner blitz which is another meta defense on the first two runs we get the stop before he hits me with a screenplay on third and long to get the first down we get him into another third and long before he hits me with a simple crossing route and decides to go for it on fourth and four before he converts using up the entire third quarter in the process then on the first play of the fourth quarter he runs that buck sweep again only this time we have it bottled up before kazir white comes over and pushes him into the end zone like, great job, you moron. Can I ask you a question? You got a moment? Yeah. Which team do you play for? Then with plenty of time left, they see he's back in the same cover four that I torched earlier in the game. So I go back to the PA read to do the exact same setup. Drop back the exact same way with a squeaky clean pocket. Only this time, I get that same DDA pop-up saying poor accuracy, guaranteeing that I throw a pick as I just threw it in a crowd of four Ravens defenders, despite the fact that he was gone once again. Oh, come on! 
Now on defense, my opponent's in no hurry is all he really needs is a field goal and to kill some clock, so he methodically takes his time and continues to turn over the chains before I finally force a field goal with under two minutes left and no timeouts. Before Hurts floats another ball that just hung in the air too long on the next pass to the sideline for another interception. We get him to three and out though to force a long field goal, but I would need a miracle to come back for this win. But at least I have time to show you guys one more one play touchdown as I can see my opponent is in a cover four match, which he hasn't called all game. So I go right back to the PA read and use the exact same setups I did against cover four regular and cover two man. Only this time, you can say I get the most separation yet as Watkins has gone by a mile to pull the game within a score with 25 seconds left. As the game comes down to an onside kick, can I get it? Nope, but thanks for believing me enough to stick around to the end. It was kind of a weird game, but I don't mind posting a loss, especially a loss where I get to show so many new one-play touchdowns against so many different defenses in one gameplay, which doesn't happen that often. So that's it, that's the vid. If you guys want to see more gameplays like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I will have more plays from the offenses and defenses that I was using throughout this gameplay popping up on screen. So if you guys want to check that out, I'm sure it will help with your game. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below